The intention of this organization is not to be a token stop for the major markets to kick our ass, take our players and kick our ass. We're getting swamped by the by the small market stuff and all that. I don't give a shit about that. Nobody feels sorry for us. And if you think those bastards that we're going to play are going to feel sorry for us, you're crazy. Because they're licking their chops. They're going to they're going to prey on us. They're preying on Montreal right now. We won't say I don't care about all that shit. Who could blame Pirates manager Jim Leland for this spring's most curious pep talk? As Leland knows, this big market, small market dilemma isn't new. His team was dismantled because the franchise couldn't afford to pay its stars. The Expos have become the poster child for revenue sharing, a superb small market team picked clean by the big market. Even here in spring training, the cash poor Expos work out on the backfields of their shared facility while their rich cousin from the south, the Atlanta Braves, take center stage in the stadium. Anything you want, you got it. Anything at all, you got it. Even the Braves, with a payroll three times greater than the Expos, admit to the problem. I think what we're seeing now is a real prime example of what, what may happen and what could continue to happen in baseball. If we don't get a system, and or at least fix this system, uh, to give smaller markets an opportunity to compete. At some point, it would be nice to be on somewhat of a level playing field with the so-called major market clubs, the Atlanta Braves, and, and, and likewise. The Yankees, $43 million TV contract is more than the entire operating budget of the Expo. But is some form of revenue sharing the answer, or should small market teams simply move to those baseball-starved towns that can support them? There are a number of cities that want baseball, and uh, you don't just keep banging your head against the wall because it feels so good when you stop. Something has to give. At some point, that's your only alternative, and that option is, is to move or relocate or to be sold. But uh, we're going to be good, and uh, we'll, just, we'll battle through this, and we'll see what happens in the future. But whatever the future holds for the small market clubs, it remains clear that the ongoing issue of the haves versus the have-nots needs to be addressed. But let me look at it this way. It's not good for now, but maybe it's the absolute signal that we all need, uh, the clanging bell, the hit alongside the head, the pounding on the desk that wakes us all up and say, hey, you know what? Everybody, we need to fix this thing.